Hey guys this is W3H Tosca channel. We welcome you all to scan build and test with us. Using codeless script less trending automation tool Tosca. Let's begin with the course. We will use demo web shop, an e-commerce website provided by Tricenters for automation practicing purpose. Now, let's go to Tosca commander. And open existing project. Once workspace opened, go to modules and right click. Select scan, application. Agent starts, scan start. Scan window opened, shows all applications discovered. Select demo shop and click on scan. Make sure to have Tosca automation extension enabled, if, scan is made in, any browsers other than IE. Scan wizard loads all available controls, from the selected demo web shop page. You can see, different elements displayed in scan wizard now. Once select on screen is clicked, go to web page and capture the controls like this. Once select on screen is done, click on escape to come out of capture mode. In wizard screen, all captured controls is shown now. All the controls captured till now, are uniquely identifiable. If it is not unique, there will be an orange highlighter. Let's try for few more controls now. As you can see in screen, menus at the top and menus at left panel look similar. Let's try capturing left panel menus. Do select on screen and capture the link books from left panel. You can see the message the selected item is not unique and books link highlighted in orange color. Reason for this is, books link from top menu has inner text as books and this books link also having similar value in inner text. If it is not uniquely identifiable by auto selected values, Let's try to make it unique by selecting other technical properties like label or visible in a text. Still not resolved. In such situations, we need to go for other identify by methods. Let's see how identify by anchor can fix this problem. Place the cursor over control and click on identify by anchor. In right side pane, you can see the anchor identification, pop-up opened. Click select on screen, and try to select the reference control, which will help to identify the selected item as unique. In this case, diff is a holder under which, all left panel menu are placed. So, using this diff property, we can identify books link uniquely. As soon as this control selected, we can see the same reflected in anchor section and the message showing the selected item is unique. Diff chosen as anchor is displayed over here. Let's see the other way of choosing anchor. Do select on screen, select computer's link. Here also, we can see that selected item is not unique. In this case also, no other technical property can make the control unique. Let's use identify by anchor again to make it unique. Place the cursor over control and click on identify by anchor. In right side pane, you can see the anchor identification pop-up open. One way of selecting anchor is through, select on screen. Other way is to select from, wizard screen. For that, let's expand the filtered items by keeping the cursor over computer's link. Once expanded, we can the parent control, or control that is top of the computer's link in a tree view. Let's try categories as anchor. You can see categories is not unique. Hence we can't use this as anchor. We can try to make categories first uniquely identifiable, and then choose it as anchor again. Or we can go for another control as anchor. To remove the selected anchor, right click and do remove anchor. Let's try to choose another control, this time drag and drop diff element under which computer's link displayed. Using highlight selection option, we can see diff is a placeholder under which computer's link exists. So, drag and drop diff as an anchor. See the same reflected in anchor section. And the message showing the selected item is unique. 
So in identify by anchor, one way is to use select on screen and other option is to drag and drop from wizard. Let's select another control, electronics from left panel menu. Here also, selected item is not unique. We can go for identify by image this time. As soon as identify by image is selected, right side pane gets open. We can see electronics control image auto captured. If needed can use, identifying by images as an additional reference. Resolution and accuracy are the image properties used by Tosca to identify the controls. Let's again do select on, and choose apparels and shoes this time. Selected item is not unique again. Let's try identify by index this time. Keep the cursor over apparels control and select identify by index. Right side shows identify by index details. This index value is auto calculated by Tosca. Choose index. You can see the selected item is unique. We have covered all four identify by methods in this session. Among the four methods, most recommended and stable method is identify by properties and anchor, while image and index are least recommended. With this note, we are done with the session. Continue watching other videos to learn more about Tosca.